Morning all. Uh, Paul and Carol loves to travel here. This is day four, isn't it? Day four, yes, of our cruise chat. Uh, we're currently on Seeking the Northern Lights cruise on the Morella Discovery and we've been doing daily updates. So um, to, to let you know what actually, you know, the experience is all about. So yesterday we told you all about Flom and um, the entertainment on board. Yeah. Today we're going to talk about Hellasit, Garenga and obviously the entertainment and what we've been up to on, on board. So, start off, we sailed into Helicit. Helicit, I think that's how you call it, isn't it? I can't Helicet. say that word. It was just a brief one just to drop people off that were doing an excursion from there, that they would travel from there, do their excursion, and then meet the ship back at Garenga. Yeah. Beautiful little place, wasn't it, with a huge waterfall going through the centre. But obviously we weren't allowed to get off, which was, I, we didn't expect that. I don't no. know why we didn't do our research properly with that, but it was it was fine. Um, it was a bit drizzly when we sailed into there. We, as you say, dropped a few off and then headed straight off to Garenga, which we're really excited about because that port is on so many cruisers' bucket lists, isn't it, Garenga? Yes. And sometimes we had, we've been on one cruise to Norway before where we were due to go to Karenga. Karenga? <laughs> Mexico. And we it? might be. Um, get your maracas out. Um, Garenga, and we were cancelled, and we ended up actually going to Rotterdam, which we were gutted about, weren't yeah. we? But actually, the sail into Rotterdam was really good too. Yeah. But, but we digress. Now, we digress, yeah. yeah. So, Garenga, sailing in uh, past the Seven Sisters waterfall, and it's just spectacular. It's hard to put into words, isn't it, the fjords, because it is just so stunning. Until, yeah, until you experience it. It is hard to put into words, but it is spectacular. The it scenery is. ever changing. Like I said, with the waterfalls, there's an old uh, Nordic legend that the the seven sisters were being wooed by a man that was the other side of the fjord, and you've got the seven sisters, which is waterfalls, and then the other side you've got the suitor, which is one massive waterfall. But in the middle of it is the shape of a bottle. Yeah, it is. Because apparently, when he couldn't cross the fjord to woo the sister successfully he turned like many men do because of women to the drink <laughs> <laughs> yes he did but it was fab wasn't it? when we sailed past the um captain would say look look the shape of the bottle it yeah. was wasn't it so yeah so Garenga when we got here um we were all very eager to get off and explore and what they've got here is we actually docked in the center of the fjord and there was just like it was called the seawalk wasn't it like yeah. an electronic it's a zigzag it's a motorized um walkway that's like on a concertina so it's it folds away and then it comes out and snakes out to the boat and then you've got a solid walkway so there's no um yeah perfectly flat no, isn't it for tendering no yeah tendering no tendering required. and perfectly flat so if you've got a mobility scooter or any mobility problems it's very easy to get on shore in Garenga. Garenga's not huge um we had a good walk around past a little campsite didn't we yeah. lots of camper vans and stuff around and you can walk up the side of the waterfall right up to the top uh where claudia was showing us some photos when there's a huge swing at the top um that you actually swing out over the side but if you've heard our episode yesterday, you'll know that heights aren't our thing. So, um, but lots of excursions from Garenga. But we had a lovely walk round. Yeah, Sun shone nice. again. It yeah. was cold, but it was we wrapped up warm. So um, we're so glad that we've ticked that off our bucket list because yeah, it, really it really was nice. it was stunning. So we left Garenga and we said in our episode yesterday that we've been invited to the bridge and what an experience that was. Oh yeah, sure. Unfortunately, makes me go did, goosey thinking about it. He didn't let me drive the ship. But he did let me blow he the did. horn. Paul, oh, Paul blew excited. the captain's horn three times, which yeah. we were very excited yes. about. Ah, boys with their toys and all. Yeah. So, yeah, so Claudia and we met Danielle, who's trained to be the hotel manager on board, um, which is, she is also a travel blogger, and we'll put her details of her Bon Voyage in the comments below. Lovely couple of girls, weren't they, that yeah. we had such a fun time. Yeah. Took us to the bridge, obviously met Captain Hugh, who's delightful, isn't he? A real character. Yeah, he's a good blogger. Yeah. And we met the pilot, Norwegian pilot. I mean, he, he was really interesting to talk to too wasn't he he's been on he does two weeks on and four weeks off i mean what a fab job so i'm that trying is. to get his job when he's yeah finishes, but... but obviously years and years and years <clears throat> of training but he was really really helpful too but the views up there were just phenomenal and again we came past the seven sisters and, and the... also we went past not far from the seven sisters That's, the king yeah. and queen of norway's summer house I well believe. holiday home holiday wasn't home, it yeah. How they get to it, I yeah. think by helicopter a lot of the time, but it's right up, just literally past the Seven Sisters, yeah. wasn't it? So yeah, so that's the, the King and Queen's um, Norwegian home. So yeah, so we sailed out of Garenga and um, 
we spent a good hour or so on the bridge, didn't we? Yeah. Looking at all the, we expected the big wheel, but there wasn't, it was just a, just a little wheel like that. <laughs> uh, I'm not technically minded at all. No. But stood out on the side, the little, what do you call them? Little. Well, there's arms that go out yeah. side the bridge, so you can go out, <clears throat> depending on where you're manoeuvring from, just to get a better view, mm. or you can just stay undercover. Yeah, but it was fascinating listening yeah. to them all with their, um, you know, cruising technology, wasn't yeah. it? It was good. So uh, that's an experience that we'll we'll never forget. Yeah. So that was brilliant. So what do we do then? We for entertainment. We uh, oh, we went to the show Radio Gaga. Radio Gaga, which um, is a homage to music of the 80s hmm. there's a sort of a video introduction from the old radio one dj andy kershaw and he's you know, right, just yeah. introducing various things and that's spliced into that is the the show team's live performances including verno the saxophonist yes and amy and roland, roland the dancers, the dancers they're just which phenomenal. are phenomenal amazing they really are, aren't they? They're just superb. And the singers and dancers come out with some very entertaining um, outfits, culture club and, yeah. and stuff, which was very amusing. But they're such talented yeah. crew, aren't they? Really, it, really it was a superb show. We were sat right at the front, actually. We thought, should we, should we try yeah. front seats? We the front um, row and it was brilliant. Well, yes, it yeah. was. It was. Just seeing all their facial expressions, yeah. it was It was really, really brilliant. So that was the, um, the show. And then we just had a few drinks around the ship, didn't we? And headed off to bed. I think that was it, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm trying to think. Yeah, we didn't have a really late no. one. Um, and today we, well, yesterday we've been in Mould. We arrived at Mould, um, M-O-L-D-E, and after all the stunning scenery of the fjords, it's just like a big town. In fact, one of the passengers we were talking to said she it just got off. Of it reminded her of Birmingham. <laughs> so that didn't so, sort of... <laughs> you know, there's nothing wrong with Birmingham. <laughs> no, but... not at all. But not what you would expect, yeah. obviously, if you're, you're cruising up the, the fjords. But she said there was lots of shopping yeah. to be had. Um, it was pouring with rain when we arrived and um, I went out on deck to get some photos and within five minutes I was soaked. So we decided not to get off the ship, sadly. But... Um, but it was just the rain we no, couldn't have too seen much. too much we're not big shoppers um so we decided to stay on and actually experience what life on board is um when when most people get off and we had a real fun day didn't yeah. we partaking in some people like it some people don't we we enjoy a quiz and we enjoy um partaking in some of the fun around the ship if you want to go and sit in a quiet corner and read your book then there was options to do yeah. that wasn't there but we do like a, a few cocktails and a bit of fun so the first quiz we did was the daily trivia which was really hard wasn't it yeah it was some paul's best... really good at quizzes i'm oh, not i'm not rubbish there. there's some brainy people on here there is there. some uh, and we were dreadful to be honest weren't we we must try harder we must try harder and then there was a very very amusing with um sophie and louis wasn't there it was an actual live catchphrase. Catchphrase, as in the one, like the one on the television. But instead of it being on a screen, yeah. Louis and Sophie. Sophie actually act out the catchphrases. Yeah. And oh, it was it was hilarious. I it was it? See what you say. What you see. Say what you see. Say what you see. Yeah. see. And we were all split into two teams, and we were on um, the team that won, weren't we? Just. Yeah. We just won. Yeah. But it was got very, very competitive and very heated at times. Yeah. Um, but no we were on Natalie's no team, weren't yeah. we? No prize for the winners because there was about 175 of us. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so that was that was really good fun. And then we did the chart. Chart quiz. That's it. Again, we just got annihilated. No, we didn't. That one. We were <laughs> second. Oh, yeah, but we still was about 40 points behind the ones that won. Yeah, I know, no. but we were the, the next tier, well, right, yeah. and do you know we what the prize are? Losers. Well, we were the first losers, yeah. So we're, uh, Paul's very keen to get. So the prize is the. Oh, it's the, big! It's big money prizes on the here. The elusive. It's, um, it's a, a a strap to put around your suitcase. <laughs> yeah, it is it's a Morello luggage strap. Yeah. So that's our goal. By the end of our fourteen days, we hope to have at least one I of those. Probably buy one for like. Well, I know, but that's not the, the shop, same, is it? It's not no. the same. So that was um, the entertainment. Yeah. That was in the day, wasn't it? And then in the evening we went to the Italian restaurant, 47, where we had um, a lovely meal. The mushroom starter was brilliant. Yeah. It's a speciality restaurant, but you don't have to pay extra. Um, but we had a, you had lasagna, I had um, spaghetti carbonara, it was oh, delicious. Really nice, yeah. I will say that the service was a little, a tad slow in there compared to other restaurants we've been I, in, but the standard of the food was Yeah, was it was, it was, it was busy, wasn't yeah. it? It's obviously yeah. very, very popular. After that, we headed to the venue for another game show called 
spies. Spies like us. Yeah, and Paul um, actually participated, and yeah. and that was quite good fun. However, we at that point, Gavin, the d cruise director, did say in the show that we were that we would be joining the well. We've got five days now where we've got the opportunity to see the Northern Lights. So, um, and the captain said that he would make announcements at any time if he's seen them from the bridge. And halfway through the show, the captain said announcement that the Northern Lights were on the port side. Wow, we've never seen so many um, people move in such yeah. a short time. It was like a bum fight. Everyone just ran for the doors, trying to get on deck four. Paul, you tried to get up the top, wasn't yeah. it? Um, but it was just ridiculous. I broke my sandals on the way, didn't I? <laughs> Oh dear. But anyway, cut a long story short, uh, we got outside and there and was a little was, wisp yeah, but nothing, um, and yeah. we'd obviously missed it. So we gutted at that, but we got more days to um, to do that. So that was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. After that, we decided to, to head off to bed and had a really good night's sleep. We were heading back out now. We're on our, we were on our way to Tromso. Um, and we thought that it would get a bit re a bit rocky, but it hasn't, no, has right, it? We've no, had a, a lovely sailing. And this morning at 10.25, we actually crossed into the Arctic Circle. So we're really chuffed about that, yeah. aren't we? Because this is part of the world we've never been to. And we were going to get a certificate too. Mm. So um, we have to pay 4 95 for it, but that doesn't matter. Yeah, that's well worth it. <laughs> so hopefully that certificate should be delivered to our room. So today we've got a day at sea. Um, before we head to Tromso in the morning, isn't it? Yeah. So we're just gonna, gonna just go out in the ship and experience yeah. what delights. There's singing lessons and all sorts on oh, today, yes, isn't there? And try again to get that luggage. To get that luggage strap. Yes. So and that's all from us today. So we will catch you tomorrow yeah. for next episode of our cruise chat. Bye bye. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, ring that bell and you'll get updates of our future videos.